In this video, we will look at how we can solve a variation problem in its entirety. In order to solve a variation problem, we must work through three steps. The first step is to find a formula for the relationship using the type of variation. Once we have this formula, we can then find the constant of variation using known values. Once we found the constant, we can then use it and the formula to answer the question using that constant of variation. Let's take a look at this problem. The amount of simple interest earned on an investment varies jointly as the principal and the time it is invested. In an account, $150 is invested for two years and earns $12 in interest. How much interest would be earned on a $220 investment for three years. To start this problem off, our first step is to identify the type of variation and make a formula. We are told it varies jointly. This means we will divide the first variable by the product of the other two. We're looking for the amount of simple interest, we'll call that I, and it varies as the principal or starting investment, P, and T, the time it is invested. Taking the first variable and dividing by the product of the other two, P, T, will equal our constant. Now that we have a formula, we're ready to find the constant of variation using known values. We know $150 is invested, that's the principal, For two years, that's the time, earns $12 in interest, that's the interest. We can use this to calculate the constant by multiplying the denominator first, 150 times 2 is 300, and dividing 12 by 300, and when we do that, we get 0.04. This is our constant of variation, which we can use along with the formula in order to answer the question. $220 is invested. That's the principal. Three years. That's the time. We don't know the interest, which is in the numerator, but we do know the constant will always be, for this situation, 0 0.04. Interestingly enough, this constant, 0 0.04, represents the interest rate of the account. In order to start solving, we'll want to multiply in that denominator first. That'll give us I over 660 equals 0 0.04. We can clear that denominator by multiplying by the LCD of 660 on both sides. The LCD divides out, and we're just left with I, the amount of interest earned, 0 0.04 times 660, is 26.4, or $26.40. Again, to solve this variation problem, we first identified the type of variation to give us a formula, use the given information to find the constant, and then use that constant and the formula to solve for the missing value.